We're talking today about the five characters that we would say Avengers needs. Now, there was... This is obviously the Avengers game. You know, come on. (laughs) Silly stuff. Oh, this is an Avengers 5? No, no, no. Uh. Not Phase 12 of the MCU. This is the game. And there was a data mine recently that revealed a bunch of characters. You had characters like War Machine. Bucky. Marvel. I don't know who Bucky is, but Winter Soldier Soldier. was on there. You know, there, there were a ton of them. We're not going Quake. off of that list. Yeah, definitely. Sadly, not Smasher. No. <laughs> we're going to go off of our own list, though, of characters that were not in either of the data mines that we saw, at least at the time of recording, and start with Wolverine. Now, this is a classic X-Men character. Oh, yeah, but he's also an Avenger. A lot of people don't know that. He joined up with the New Avengers. Maybe Ooh. he was in before. I don't even remember. But the New Avengers in the early 2000s, he was a mainstay yeah, team. it. he works because he's both with the X-Men and the Avengers. Yes. So He's a bridge that bridges two cultures together, some would say. Nice. The culture of the X-Men Very and the ad. Avengers. Who said that, Professor X? So anyway, Logan is like a character <laughs> that I think a lot of people know from the comics. If you don't know him from the comics, you definitely know him from the movies. I mean, so he's very instantly recognizable. I think he's mature enough that he can work in mature adult properties, but also can be scaled back a little bit to work in a, you know, T-rated game if you want him to. Especially because most of the game you're fighting robots. Yeah, and uh, with the X-Men movies, they had him both in a PG-13 setting and also an R-rated setting. So, I mean, yeah, you could easily put him in the game. Right. You know, he's he's not going around, like, brutalizing humans or anything like that right well i mean he can but yeah you don't you you don't need to go that direction for this game yeah and he's definitely would function well i think that his play style would be interesting too because he's a very brutal character in terms of being ferocious kind of like an animal yeah with his claws i mean he can be very acrobatic or very boots on ground it just depends on what take you're going with the character and i will say i don't know what actual capacity some of these characters are going to be in if they're just going to be in the post game avengers initiative or if they're going to do some kind of story segments for any of these characters but either way i think wolverine works very well yeah he i think he's actually one of the main characters that both me and you thought of yeah right like away we, we, it was right away like oh wolverine well especially because so. you're putting in spider-man that yeah. came up yeah, for us exactly. too is you were like well you know, is this a character that fits? And the thing is, Spider-Man, I, I think anybody who was with the Avengers or associated it, associated with them fits, according to the list of leaks at the very least. Yeah, like Smasher. <laughs> Thank God that's not <laughs> there. The next one we do want to talk about, though, is actually Human Torch, who also did serve on the Avengers team for a while. This character, Johnny, he's more of like a comic relief character but also can be very serious i think that he has powers that you don't see a ton of in this game flame based abilities at least from the characters you play as yeah like the ones already in it yeah so there's something there yeah you could definitely he could play a lot like iron man i mean obviously they both fly oh yeah fly um around. his abilities could play a lot like iron man in the sense of they both shoot stuff like out of their hands yeah um You know, I don't know. I think there's a lot of cool options you could have with him. Well, yeah, and especially if you are having any sort of dialogue between characters, Human Torch plays very well off of Spider-Man, who we already know is going to be in the game, like we said. Yeah, they're they're both kind of funny people. They play off of everyone. Well, and they're friends in the comics. Yeah. So it definitely works out well in that regard. I don't know. There's not really any going wrong with Human Torch. He's also, you know, surprisingly, he's not an adult character because he does burn people. Up. Yeah. So yeah. I'm, I never really thought about that. I'm surprised that they never really have had this ultra dark take on Human Torch that I can think of. Maybe, you know, I'm sure they have in the comics, but. Yeah, I probably have. Probably like some zombie fight, Human Torch. Yeah, Marvel zombies. I'm the only guy who doesn't <laughs> care about that. But next up, we do have another character. This, uh, you put up a fight. I did. Of not wanting this character at first, but then I said, okay, fine, pick out your own character. And where did that bring you? Back, Back to, to me. me. <laughs> you picked out Ghost Rider. I picked out Ghost Rider. You picked out Ghost Rider. I picked him out, but you refused to put him in the game. And then you were like, okay, fine. I guess I'll concede this point. Yeah. Yeah. No, Ghost Rider is, uh, he, he's a cool character. Yes. I just, my own thing is I feel like he doesn't, like he's too demonic and whatnot for the game. In some but, ways he could be, yeah. But I feel like if they work it right, 
Obviously, you don't have to go, like, full-blown demon and, like, you know, we're not playing, like, some... We're not know, playing Doom Ouija we're not... or anything like that. Like, <laughs> Is there a Ouija game? No, like the movie Ouija. Oh, okay. You know, I was so gonna it's... say Doom or even Agony or something. Yeah. No, so but it's... but he works in Ultimate Alliance. Yeah. And that so... wasn't that way. Yeah. So it kind of depends just how you make him. Yeah. As a character. So. Yeah. And his inclusion in the story too. Right. What it would be. I feel like if you don't go all the way, like just full blown demon, he could work out really well. Right. I mean, that's the same kind of thing with Doctor Strange too. I think Doctor Strange, even though he's not on this list, he could work in the game but if you went too far into the sorcerer aspect it would start to get weird yeah in terms so, of how the game plays yeah that, that was my only thing about ghost rider yeah and what i had against him well yeah we we know you're a bigot for ghost rider now that i established my defense there well you know there is no defense for outing ghost rider out of the oh, game oh, but crap. <laughs> he could be really cool i mean you have obviously the chain whip You'd have the bike. The pen and stare. The pen and stare would be pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of different abilities with him. I think there's plenty of cosmetics you could go with. Yeah. I don't know if they're ever going to include cosmetics from any of the movies or not, or go more in that direction, but if they did... What if you said Nicolas Cage? <laughs> like, without his Ghost Rider outfit at all, just, just Nicolas Nick Cage. Just Nick Cage, just there. <laughs> I'm I mean, going to steal the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> <laughs> the Rider. I can feel him inside me. <laughs> the best line ever. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot you could certainly do with him. Same with the next one, Quicksilver. Yeah. This would be more of a speedy character. No, duh. Not speedy I, from Teen Titans. No, not speedy from Teen Titans. I do think that this character would be difficult to program in in some ways. It would depend on what you do. I mean, because if you were playing co-op, you can't have him move quickly and slow down the game for everyone else. Right. So I guess you would have to find a way to either make the character move faster naturally or give him some sort of abilities that make it seem like he's going faster than he is. Yeah, I think depending on how they work it, but if they do something with the main story with Quicksilver, I feel like it'd be cool if you had scenes like from the X-Men movies where everyone was slowed down and you're running around like punching all the people. That could certainly work And they work like well. slowed down like bullets that they were shooting or slowed down punches or whatever. Yeah, it would definitely just depend how you're doing it because since this game is also geared around playing together, it's hard to do that if if I'm with you and right. then I press a button and your game stops. So yeah, I guess it would depend. <laughs> yeah, I guess it would depend how they were able to do that. But that certainly would be neat. It would just depend on that aspect of it. But obviously, this would work very well with Wanda, you know, Scarlet Witch, since this is her brother. Right. She's obviously been leaked to come to the game. So there's something there that you could do as well. And the final one was actually your pick from the get go. That's Daredevil. Yeah. So I think Daredevil probably is one of the. I don't want to say better options, but next to Wolverine, he's probably a really cool option well he's an easy fit yeah there's nothing really about daredevil's vibe that doesn't go with the game in any way right i think it'd be cool if you if you played as daredevil if what if it changed like the game and how it looks so it looks like how he looks like because he's blind mm -hmm. but you see everyone in kind of like a dark silhouette and then you see but you see like the little objects or whatever like from what he sees oh so you're saying essentially you could either see a version of the world on fire that he sees in the show or you could see just a sonar yeah anything like that yeah yeah you could certainly make the the vision different the one difficulty would be though that you would have to do so in a way that didn't make your cosmetics just look like nothing Right. Because a big part of this game is cosmetics. Well, yeah, but what if they did so you could, like, switch the view? Oh, yeah, that So you could neat. play in, like, So, like, the, detective mode. Yeah, you could play in, like, the Matt Murdock mode or just the standard view. Yeah, I think what would really work, too, for that is if you had some kind of super or something that went into a sonar vision yeah. as well temporarily. I think that would look like really radar interesting. Sense or something. Yeah. I think there's a lot you could do with that. It would just depend on how you want to do it. And also, he's a much more acrobatic character. He has access to hand-to-hand -to -hand or, you know, weaponry. Um, the sky's kind of the limit with Daredevil. Again, you know, I mean, we've stressed it a few times. It really just depends on how you choose to include all these characters because that's something we have yet to see as time goes on with the game. Yeah, they haven't made much announcements on that. No, aspect. really just Kate Bishop coming to the game, and that's about it. Right. So... I don't know. Regardless, let us know what you think in the comments down below. What characters would you like to see? Are there any characters that were not on this list and maybe not on the data mine list that you'd like to see or ones on the data mine list? We're interested in that. 
be sure to leave your feedback down there. Leave a like if you enjoyed, dislike it if you dislike it, as always, because that gets me into recommended and I appreciate that. I'll see you in the next one. Have a fantastic day and stay shway.